nearest compact disc. The disc has a multimedia track which can be accessed by owners of a multimedia computer, CD-ROM. Computer users will be guided via computers through a futuristic landscape inspired by the science fiction novel 2001 A Space Odyssey. built as the ultimate musical experience, a virtual reality journey through space set to sound. It's a pop CD-ROM, and it combines music and graphics, and is viewed on a computer. Based on a story by the science fiction writer Arthur C. Clarke, Songs of Distant Earth takes viewers on a voyage through time and space, but they can choose which route they want to take. It's the latest release from musician Mike Oldfield, famous for the 70s hit Tubular Bells. I thought it would be great help if I, could if I could make a picture of what this would look like. So I, I designed this ship and I designed this sequence where um, uh, you travel inside the centre of the ship and you come into a, a control room, which is here. This is their control room here. And I used to make uh, cyclic images of ships, spaceships and <laughs> planets. And uh, to me it all became very realistic. And, and, um, in a funny way, I felt that I was remembering or imagining what it would be like in the future. Cynics claim CD-ROM is just the latest gadget to be launched by an industry keen to encourage the public to spend more money. But those in the business believe it's the art form of the future because it combines music with imagery and allows people to step into a different reality. When you're in the cinema, you have a, a director who basically had a vision for a piece of work and you sit there for two hours and he leads you through that story and you know he, he decides who you have an emotional attachment to, whether that's the good guy or the bad guy. In this, it's a new way of telling a story so that you can make your own decisions about where you want to go through that story path. Pop stars like Peter Gabriel and Prince have also released CD-ROM discs, but they're three to four times more expensive than normal CDs, and not everyone in the music industry is convinced the new technology will take off. At this stage, I think it is very much seen as a gimmick by the purists, but I think already we can see that it's developing a new type of entertainment. The CD-ROM is still in its infancy. Whether it does capture the public's imagination, only time will tell. Mallory Gelb, BBC News. A roundup of the sports now from Carol. Good morning. The England Vice Captain Alex.